Okay, my friends, I just did this video about Desert Drifter, and again, the tragic circumstances, he was killed, and a, a drunk driver hit him, killed him, and uh, he was doing fabulous work. Rest in peace, my friend. This is the bottom of a hair root, and or everything has eroded here. All the skin and all the weak stuff has eroded away and left some of the strong stuff above. And I've had some people say, oh, no, 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 that's these are trees that we're going to be looking at. But I say, no, that's not true. They are hairs. Trees do not form little segmented blocks. Otherwise, the boards you buy would have had little to just break apart into blocks. We're seeing blocks. That's what hair does. We're going to go to the desert and see what he found out there. But this is what hair is. It's segmented into these little segments. When it falls apart, these little pieces shard off into really fractury looking shards just all over the place. And then you have all this muddy stuff that just erodes into mud. It's, it's what's called cowl and clay, kaolin and clay. It's just mud. That is just mud. And that's exactly what I have here. That's where the hair stalk comes up through. And that right there is eroded away mud. So this was mud all around here. And it just erodes away. And what ended up was the piece that anchors this into the body proper remained. Just like it did on this. I didn't break that off. That just stuck with whatever it came away from. There's the muscle right there. And there's the sebaceous gland. And there's where the shaft comes out and then there's that, all that muddy stuff all around it which is nothing more than flesh and it, it erodes into mud that's, don't forget that's what hair looks like when it's in perfect shape these things erode away and you end up with these little blocks which is what we found where De desert drifter was you end up with these little blocks like this Nobody can explain these. This is a Crowley Lake. I know exactly what it is, and it's hair. Whoops. Okay, you've seen what a hair is and how it has these little blocky ridges and these little scrappy things coming down, and all that fell apart. And when it does, you end up with the, the blocks that make up the hair. Now, this is what the hair looks like on a cross section. So it does have a, a very similar look to a tree. I agree with that. However, it's in chunks. If you cut a tree, you're not going to get it's not going to dry out and turn into chunk, 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 chunk. It's going to be a big, long tree. That's the difference. Now, this is where he came up and he says, yep, this is a tree. It's obviously a tree. Well, it, it obviously looks like a tree, but I say this is not a tree. You see how it's broken here, broken here, broken, broken? It's, these are the segments of a hair, and these are the little flakes of the hair as it peels off and it just de decomposes. That's why you see very little of this hair, because of the hairs themselves. Although you do see some, and where they are, they're, they're, they're like this, they're blocky. All right, so this is one of the, I say it's hair, and it looks like rings of a tree. I cannot dismiss that, but this is blood. This is not tree rings. It, this is blood, and it could be tested, I'm absolutely sure. All right, here's another one of them. It's the bucket there, and this is the part that glues it up in here, right in there. That area right in there, that's the gluey area. That would have glued it in, right? It is where the black and the red artery and the vein go in. And that's the little bucket that anchors it down. And then above that is the hair. You could pull your hair out and your the root ball will come out with the hair. And it's being ripped off of that. You see this? There's a couple hairs laying around that have fallen over. That's those little flakes of hair. And when they break, they break just as flat as a pancake in chunks and I have found almost no trees that survived the great flood because the cellulose just dissolved and it became what they called the, the, the gray clay or green clay there's a red bed 
then there's a gray clay, and then there's a black cat. The red bed is the boiled flesh that boiled out of these creatures. And Roger, take All right, so this is, as far as I'm concerned, that's a hare. And um, there were, they were going to have, uh, there's a bunch of them, but they erode into almost nothing normally. But he has found some. You remember this popcorn looking stuff? That's the stuff right down here that glues this thing right down in. Now it erodes away and it all flocculates together. Everybody seemed to like that name, flocculation. <laughs> Things with the same same structure and density, specific gravity, texture, they flocculate. Mud flocculates together. This stuff flocculated together. Metals flocculate together when they come through as meteorites and asteroids and so forth. That's why you see a meteorite has all these different patterns of uh, metals in them because of flocculation. That is flocculation, my friends. All right, here's another one. This one here is one very rare. This is perfectly straight, and it was sticking, uh, in my mind, sticking straight up here. There's no roots on any of these things. These are not trees. And they break. When, once it, sooner or later, it eroded enough where it just fell over. Most of them were tipped at a little bit of an angle. They just fell over like all over. They just all fell over, except that one it was straight up and down, not eroded, and then eventually it just fell over. And here it is, and they're broken in the same, the same breaks. So this is why we're seeing all these little tiny flakes all over the place, because it's it's made with all these little tiny flakes. It's it's not it, like a tree. And hair is a little different, but it does break in those those layers, so you get little blocks. And I have found them around, and I thought, boy, is that a tree, or is that, what is that? And I thought they were trees, but they are not. And I'll show you some others. Sometimes they turn into agate. See, I had these down as, as petrified trees, but they're not. Whoops, that one, hold on. That was a, uh, boy, here we go. Look at this, petrified trees in, in opal. Now, I don't think that's a tree. I think that's a hare. But that is spectacular, isn't it? All of these colors are colors of blood. That is not normally seen in trees, those dwarfs, those colors. There are, this I believe is a tree. Although I can't be positive of that either. It looks like it has roots coming out of here. That, this would be a, a very, very strange exception. And this almost looks like kale and clay around here. So that could be a hair. I don't know. I really don't know at this point. I thought I had this figured out, but you know, as you go forward, you learn. Now look at this. This is petrified tree segments, but no, these are not. That was a hair. You see it? Trees don't do that. You don't cut a board and then it just falls into a little blocks. The board stays a straight piece of board. They don't have these blocks. So I guess I'm going to leave it at that. But that, that, these are what we're seeing is these blocks right here. From gigantic hairs. The, the creatures were absolutely stunningly large. And trees continue as one piece straight up and down. When you cut them, you cut them. That's fine. But they don't break all by themselves into these little blocks. They just don't break into these little blocks. This was also a hair. All right, so thank you. I love you all. I just want to clear that up. Sometimes something looks like something that it isn't. Sometimes something looks like something that you swear it couldn't be, and it is. That's the world we live in, my friends. Now, one last thing. The hairs that we were looking at are not from a human, I don't believe. We have sweat glands, which are these little curly hue jobbers that shoot out sweat and they are in amongst the hairs and here's what it looks like uh, hold on 
All right, here's a guy standing next to a, a sweat gland. And that, I believe, is the hair shaft coming up straight through. I, other ha I have other ones that show the sweat glands. Now, this, this is exactly what a hair looks like. It comes down and it pops off on the sides. And that's right next to the sweat gland. They're showing the two of them. They pulled out together at the same time. They call it a fragment of a corkscrew with its root. There's a root, but that's the root of a hair. And that is the sweat gland of a sweat gland. And um, this is what sweat glands look like, just so you know. And they come right up along with the hairs. Uh, I guess that's enough to cover my bases for today. That is where the sweat This is another area where there were hairs. There were hairs sticking right down to here. And everything has eroded up above and left some of the anchors. These are anchors that hold the hair root. And it anchors down here, this little scruffy, crinkly looking stuff. You see that? You see that everywhere where there's a hair. And this is the, the anchor that holds it. And these are the two, two little, um, uh, I forget what they call them. They're uh, at the bottom, the, the red and the blue one, uh, which is the vein in the artery, basically, that services this. And this little bucket holds that. And there's, there's, they're everywhere. They're not just here. They're just everywhere. But they're not gigantic like this, mostly. All of this is eroded away. The guy's skin was all the way up to here, basically. It's, we're living in a world we just never considered before, my friends.